who should meet tonight? I see like a lot of people are here with me in the chat. That's amazing. Hope you guys are all well. So I think we have some technical.
Okay, I hope you hear me. Will I do hear myself now? Okay, that's great. We're back. <laughs> Congratulations. I love technique. But they always say that it has its own life, right? So anyway, back to those fights. Been a great fight night so far. A lot of people from American Top Team fought already. A lot of great wins and performances out there. And we see Burns versus Della Maddalena. It seems they're still in round number one. If my stream is <laughs> appearing properly. And um, as I said, it's, it's been the first time I think that I've ever seen Gilbert Burns with this hair tied together. It's kind of nice. He always has those curly hairs usually. And as for the action, we have 45 left of the first round. Wish I would have seen this part of it though. But you guys can probably chat with me. What do you think about um, Who's gonna make it and why? Um, I think usually Gilbert Burns is um, pretty promising. He's always delivered when he needed to, and I think he will do so tonight as well. He's also a great, yeah, athlete with a lot of techniques, and he knows how to adapt to his opponents. So I see him having a little advantage to being local, but I know. You can always, you never know. It's always kind of different, but um, I don't see why you shouldn't win tonight. Okay. And so far, it's looking really nice. He actually looks a little gassed out. I think I haven't seen it like this before. But I mean, it's one of the toughest sports in the world. What can I say about that? Okay. Here we go. Oh, nice take on the hand. Nice. Oh. Now he just has to keep this position, safe, safe position. And then definitely the points from his cards. But it is, his opponent has a good answer here. But okay, round number one is over. Okay, guys, have you been watching UFC all night? Or what, have, what else have you been doing? Guys, 2024 is going to be super amazing. Um, I'll be fighting in Europe at least two times. I have a fight book for May, another one in December in Luxembourg. And I'm also still waiting on a picture schedule. So I hope we will publish something very soon. Go from there. This year, I want to at least have four fights. I really want to fight this year, but you know how it is. I was supposed to fight Sydney Dendois and me in Europe on that show, and um, unfortunately she injured her shoulder. And so I have to wait until December to make this one happen. And also I accepted this fight in lightweight, which you guys know I usually don't do, but as I got the uh, opportunity to fight Cindy, I was like, okay, I, I'm down. I just, you know, I know she's too experienced and, um, you know, she fought some great people. And um, I thought this is just a very good chance for me. So, uh, also the training at ATT at the moment, um, we're preparing Kayla for UFC 300 against Hockey. So, I am in the squad of her closest sparring partners. And um, every week, we train and fight together. And 
and um, that's just super fun. I mean, she's super experienced, super skilled, and obviously, for me, it's also a great compliment when coaches ask me if I could come in to help her get her ready. So that's great. Oh, we have a nice front attack here. Gilbert Burns trying to turn over his opponent, still holding the guillotine grip. But this, uh, Della still has his leg between there, but Gilbert obviously knows how to fight BJJ. So those transitions, transitions are usually very successful. And right now, holding that so quite good. Now back to cage work. That looks super interesting. Honestly, I think I have um, barely watched fights without sound, but otherwise, because I'm doing it everything on my computer now, I think I would have too many <laughs> audio distractions here going on. Guys, can you believe it? We already have March. I just feel like the last month since I had my last party just went by like so fast. And then in the blink of a second, it's already March. But I'm very glad that you all came back to, to talk about life and the and you know, just stuff stuff about so much. I hope everybody can do it all. Well anyway. And we have two minutes and 15 seconds left of the second round. And as of now, it looks like Gilbert is really getting some points here from his opponent, Della Madalena. And I feel like he always, always, always has an answer. He's one of the most experienced fighters we have here. Like, I feel like he's every year, like, he fights so many times. I think last year, what, like four or five times at least. And uh, he's always in the cage. Yeah. Um, yeah, very tricky fight so far. Like, I feel like none of those fights really have any, have taken any damage so far. I feel like finding those gaps. Oh, this one is so good, right on the table. Wow. Yeah, he felt that, for sure. And then the leg, oh, nice take on the really cool. Wow. Must be in the position one minute to go. And Madalena, this is like a little alligator. He's like winding out of there in no time. But right now, Gilbert is really has a front head control there. And he takes it down again. Nice. Always ending up on top, which is super important, right? He's trying to step over that leg now. Yes. yes. Yeah, but those escapes of Madalena are good. And he always has a little way there to get up there again. But now, he's on his back. As I know the word, he probably tried to either attempt. Uh, attack the arm or go straight for the toes. But Madalena does a good job in fighting those hands there. That was a strong run for sure. I double points. <laughs> and Madalena just put the time out? Oh wow, he must have so safe there. I mean, time was safe than this one, but well. Oh, this elbow, wow, what a nice replay. Oh, he's going to It looks like his opponent really has a big bump on the forehead. Do you guys see that? Oh, wow. That elbow must have been hard. Oh, yeah. Definitely, the elbow, he got him good here. He felt that one. 
and the forest for and it was bad. It's really great in Germany. So as from me, they can let everything out of the gas tank now. All right, all right, all right. Let's see the next one. Okay, we have a new question from Kamen. What's your approach to recovery to prevention here at the training period? Oh my god, if I just had an, a proper answer for that one, but I guess like, sleep is really, really key. Like, get proper sleep at least eight hours a day. Maybe if you have a chance, do like little naps even if you can. Take supplements, eat some vitamin D12, vitamin K, fish oil and try to eat as clean as possible, hydrate your water, magnesium, obviously, collagen, all that kind of stuff. And obviously, try to find a way to train smart. And obviously, love. <laughs> um, but if you have any hints for me or advices, how can how do I can promote my own injury prevention I can with my camp pretty much just started and obviously I'm gonna go through there like a million bucks ready for my final day. And Gilbert Burns is taking him down again. Oh well using the cage wall here to not go down. But as we know Gilbert he's got to find a way to take him down. Yeah. Oh, and then his elbow, that was. Oh. And he turned his phone at me. Oh, the bloody clinch. The elbow really tired him, so does Gilbert. Oh, and he's taking that. Oh. This is an interesting. Like very, very technical, very like fluid, like almost like PJJ drills. <laughs> it's nice. But this position here is pretty good. Gilbert takes his leg, pin him to the cage wall, and definitely has control time here. She gathers together. Now he's trying to get the hip. Should he get the back? Yes. And that uh, hooks in. Nice. Oh, Harry Goshi attempt here. Oh, and here we go. Nice. They control the neck, but they always find a way to kind of get rid of this, interesting way. But if Gilbert pushes, that pulls his arm away, then you have no... Oh, yes. And he got all of the big alligators. For sure. Oh, he got him. Did he get him? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Crazy when those elbows are nasty, 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 and the referee is about to stop this fight. Oh wow, this hit so hard. My back. And that's it! He turned it around in no time. Wow. In the last round, in the last couple of pretty much seconds here. Oh wow, it's really hurt. Wow. That was very strong how we got out of there. Well, yeah, he was kind of rushing into it. It seems like he wanted to finish so bad. Wow, and he did it. Congratulations. 
into the blue corner. It was so interesting how he really used the power of his own sweep and really got him with me so good. And Gilbert really has control over it. Whoa. That was powerful. Oh, and then those fists. And combined with those elbows. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he needed he needed to get out. He would have lost the points probably. Oh, this is LMA people. Never praised the day before the evening. For sure not. Oh wow. You know what is still kinda of out there. Yeah. But we see Sweet Bunch with you, which is really nice. I always like seeing them. I appreciate it a lot. And I think this is um, great about that spot. But after all, you know, super, super friends with each other. People just stay on the ground from a different field. Those hits to the head and those hits me. That was, that was hard. That was powerful. And I have another question here. In terms of conditioning, What's a common misconception you would correct? Oh, I think there's so many misconceptions, but um, if you would be more particular about this, I'll probably help you. But I think he's also recovery. You get better the training when you have recovery time. Not just doing a lot of things helps everything, you know, like the body really needs to get better and we brain up neurons and everything what's going on there is what it is in the end like neural nullification and that's why rest really is the key so don't do too less but don't go too crazy like always try to find a balance i guess there would always be some time and that was a tremendous fight that was a nice performance how we turned that fight in the third round <laughs> Grab the cash, he says. That was in his, his initial plan to just get the cash. Nice. That's probably like also performance of the night, I guess. With this finish of a group of joints. This thing he had like, was so powerful. Man. Wow. Yeah, that was the beginning of the end. He just said it, that's right. And and we have a question here. You know, what kind of opponents do you think are hardest to beat? Strikers or grapplers? I honestly think those who have skills in both. Like if you just have a striker, you know, you always go to the ground, obviously. It's the other way around. Kind of stand up or pinch or throw them down. So I think people who know how transitions work, they're the most to be aware of. Guys, I need some more. I've been talking too much. It's been so hot in lately in Florida. Just like you do nothing and it's it's like a little water or something. Okay, we do have three fights left. No, we have Kim Holland versus Michael Page. We have Dustin Pyreo, um, Vintage and Release, and finally, obviously, with versus Marlon Pyreo. Oh, GSP's in the house. He's one of my absolute, absolute favorites. Ah. Nice. I hope one day I'm going to meet him. This guy is so, so sweet and so kind. And he's never been loud. He's always just been super kind and calm. He always just kind of like, which is the thing I like very much.
Nice, he looks super ready. Flexible, fast, nice to be. What piece of memorabilia in your fighting career do you have to look most dear? Oh, wow, this is a good question. I don't know. I have so many things from the last 27 years of fighting. But honestly, like uh, the day when I became, uh, I, when I became world champion for the very first time, Probably one of my yeah, biggest days ever. I, I will never forget that day. That was just so amazing. But yeah, obviously, like, once you start, you know, that legacy kind of thing, then you always want to still be a world champion and get more and more. So it's like an unstoppable train, I guess. You're just looking up and you're like, ah, and one, two, maybe three, and four, five, six. So, as of now, I made it six times and looking forward to the seventh time. But yeah, I think like, the very first trophy I ever won in was really nice too. <laughs> and then, yeah, I think everything that you know, get for the very first time is just so, so special. Yeah. I always see them on the UFC cut those those reels together from from the athletes to hype the audience up and the music and I are just so good at doing that stuff. And you see them, you're like, yes, let's go. So yeah, UFC 300 is going to be so good, so so good. I'm so excited for that one. No. And I want to break this. Charles Oliveira. Oh, Jim Miller. Guys, remember the last fight he had? Where he knocked this poor guy out. And he was like still out, like out, out after several minutes. And even later, like an hour later, he still couldn't walk. All of them. It's not nice. This is so nice. Um, that's also something that I've suggested. And hopefully, we'll have to use that to the European Hall of Fame. Fingers crossed. That'd be so sweet. What a big compliment. Okay. Which is stranded on a deserted island with three UFC fighters. Who would you want to? With and who would you definitely not want to be stuck with? Obviously, the main goal is to kind of build a boat or a boat or something to get off of that island. I guess. So, I guess I need some smart people who are able to put the stuff together with me. So, obviously, I would love to have um, Joseph and Pierre. I really need to have island with me. And uh, who else? Oh, Rose. Rose Namayuna. I think she would be cool. I would like to have her there. And then obviously people from my gym. To name one, probably. Oh my god, this is never new. Like a big, strong guy who could like chop the wood <laughs> with the 
pieces together on a float or something. And I guess I wouldn't be with someone on that island who doesn't understand me. But maybe, maybe, but I don't know which. That's, right. that's a good question. I have never thought about that. Stranded on an island, I guess we were all in one, in one airplane going to an uh, and then the airplane drops on an island. But Todd, tell me, who would you pick? Why? That'd be interesting to see also. Never thought about that. Maybe next one you should be. Which you've you've seen spider? Would you like to cook for you? Or something like that. <laughs> the bigger, the better. The stronger, most likely. What do wild animals have to eat? <laughs> exactly. Oh man. What's interesting though is that the UC300 um, Chris Cyber flew to Jackson Wings to train Holly when we are with Kayla and Cooking the Creek. Very so excited for this fight. It's going to be so good. It's, I mean, I mean, remember how she pretty much ended Rhonda's career with you know, knocking her out. I remember so, and like, keeping her out. I was so sad because I was such a big Wanda fan. But I always loved Holly too, you know? But I will never forget that day. And then Holly was beaten by Misha Tate, I remember. And then and there was Lucy and then everything started. But Holly was the first Wanda. And now Holly against Taylor, another judo person. So really good kickbox striker. And so very skilled judo club. So we should definitely see. That. Michael Page, Venom, wow, that was a nice knockdown there. Kevin Holland. Okay, guys, and this one, you see winning and why? I think Venom is always so good for a surprise because he's so quick and so long and so. Dangerous. Those arms and the legs are just super, super devastating. Um, and also, we have to talk about the main fight of the night. Apparently, it's a rematch. We saw each other a long time ago. And the current champ lost. So, who has more to lose or who has more to win? Yeah. Sometimes it's interesting, right? You know, if you're so excited for a fight card, you're kind of spending like at least five, six hours watching it, and then after the fight, you're just like, wow, crazy. But one thing just can change everything. And um, or sometimes you yeah you would never expect yeah, one knee one one rib one shot change everything. But also sometimes you can understand the judges and refs decision on points or whatever when it's like super super close. Yeah, this is interesting. And then just imagining how this would feel if it happens to you. I myself have, uh, have lost two, three fights by split decision. And it's so hard. It's like the worst. When it's like so close and you kind of saw yourself winning and then you don't. Yeah. Part of the game. Oh, yeah, this is a good question. Of course, when you fight against an opponent that you've beaten in the past, it's definitely a mental factor. It's like you just have to deliver again. I just have to do it again. Um, I, in fact, got my um, 
my how do you say my final straw in Finland with the European Championship. I beat her there, and then I beat her again in the World Championship final. I was like, "Oh my God, Julia, don't lose it now. You've done it again. You, hey, you've you've already done it once. And don't don't lose it now. Stay cool, focus." I think that's actually nice when you when you just you know believe in yourself and you just go and just do it. But yeah, I think when it comes to like you really, really like obviously this ticket sales and you know you're seeing and just having it up like what like X Y Z against X Y Z two three four. I think it's also super interesting how they obviously a lot of politics. Yes, and you know, it's it's interesting. And here we go. My name is walking in. He's always so funny. He's always doing something <laughs> crazy before he walks in. But I guess he's gonna need to calm calm himself down. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, just feeling the beat. Yeah, it's good to say it is a new show. <laughs> it looks a little bit like my nice. But it's nice. I mean, if you can, if you're able in your mind, in your entire mindset, to, you know, dance before a fight, it's great. You know, some people sing, some people dance, some people are super tense and slap themselves. <laughs> Not to name, not to say a name. Um, but yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah, he's really feeling it tonight. And the crowd loves it. Oh, I know, he's just shoving the head off, I see that. Hmm, so, question. Do you, Kayla, will, or do you think Kayla will have the same problems with Holly? Wanda did. Well, I think Kayla's stand up's pretty good, and I think Ronas was too. But you know, people always say, why didn't she do this and that? But you guys know, like, once you get hit for the very first time, like, really hard, you're not the same person. It really changes you, and it's just like your autopilot running. People were judging, like, oh, how could you not see that? And how could you not do that? And so easy, so easy. I'm always saying, like, if you go in a cage and then say the same, it's so easy, it'll be fine. But obviously, once you get hit, everything changes. So, I guess, obviously, Holly is um, super quick, has a great endurance, like, really, she has heart. She, she really fights until the last. And um, so does Kayla. But Kayla's, like, super powerful. I think, I mean, Kayla was a. Uh, uh, minus 78 in judo, and Ronda was minus 70. And I think Kayla really does have that, you know, physique advantage. Like her upper body is just so strong. I mean, Holly's strong too, but they're like built differently. And um, I don't see how Holly could um, resist a takedown like this. But I'm sure Holly will try to keep her distance and don't let her come close because, you know, she will not want that. So I'm sure she's, you know, working a lot with her side kicks, push kicks, and high kicks or whatever. She really wants to keep her away from her. Yeah. And also, like, Holly is so experienced. She's been in that fight game, especially in MMA for so long. But yeah, I guess you... The only time we have is to just watch it and then go from there. Okay, just so funny. Oh my god, he's still there to do it. Okay. Well, a little reach advantage here, not as much. We have both the same weight to bring in. 
at the same height, just to let a different voltage. Always when I see it, I'm just so high, it's just feeling it like that. <laughs> That's funny, he makes me laugh. It's nice. See, crazy girl. Okay, guys, predictions, predictions, predictions. Holland, what page? When in the second round, no, okay. I like how they both have some moves and like a lot of energy, so just like kind of dancing in there. Oh, nice. <laughs> and he's still dancing. Of all the places that you where was your favorite wine? That's a good one. I think I honestly really always enjoy to fight in the States. In Vegas, Los Angeles. Because the American crowd is so full of joy when it comes to um, all that stuff. Also, when we had to travel with my team for the title fight, we were jumping title. That was also a very nice, nice crowd. They were also super loud and then. Because yeah. um, I don't know, Americans really do like stages there, like maybe hype and love fighting. So, yeah, the American crowd is the best of all. Oh wow! It's so so hard to you know like fight him because he's so 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 unpredictable with his long arms and legs. I'm out of nowhere, literally. <clears throat> oh, and also he really. He's like super, super sideways, completely sideways, almost like a taekwondo person. And then out of nowhere, he switches his arm. Interesting. But Holland is for the clinch here, kind of keeping him away. Oh, and that felt a hook for sure. Yeah, it's just hard to tell because it's not usual. Didn't I just say that? Oh wow. Unpredictable, I guess. This is a key strength in that sport. Hmm. 
everything always a little bit different and not classical. That's a good idea. I'll keep that in mind. Plum, also nice to hit. Yes, I did the plum. It's super hard. I just like to slap, super slap challenge. Oh, man. This is really interesting. And also, he's so flexible. He moves his upper body like big. doesn't get hit, really. It's very, very unique. But it's nice. People go for this unpredictable fight stuff, those dances. The venom he has inside. <laughs> and then you just get out of the situation, like just like, okay, fine. And how it moves and breakfast here. Ooh. And he doesn't look happy, his opponent does not look happy. Oh. oh, also a nice coach. Yes, I watched that fight. And um, I think it's super, super nice because it's also an MMA fight and you're super well rounded and you always you know, have to find a way to challenge yourself. And it just seems so different from MMA right? because it's just very much the hands. And um, what I consider Boxing? Yeah, why not? I think it's really changing the game. Well, maybe also kickboxing. Kickboxing is very interesting. Because I honestly prefer kicks. But yeah, good one. If you guys know any promotion around here, let me know. I've gone for a little match there to get some experience. Uh, with one of the training partners from the gym, I uh, had the boxing, it's just a boxing sparring the other day, the boxing ring, uh, three rounds. It was also fun, I actually really did like it. It's so different. Obviously, when it comes to this stressful situation, you kind of tend to do stuff that you used to, right? And you have to kind of stop yourself from convincing or, you know, Speaking or whatever, so that's interesting. But yeah, I key, I do want to continue doing that. Um. Or maybe the opposite. People like Jake for only boxing, maybe at one point we'll go into MMA or something. Let's see how much. Wow! What was that? What a spinning thing in the air here. Did he slip or from the technique? Let's just see that again. Ooh. Those elbows, oh, devastating, holy shit. Oh. 
I don't know, maybe he realized at that point that it was a little too painful. Maybe when he was able to survive that round, he would kind of change his style. I know, trying to fight those hands off page. Eh, uh, sorry. And he turned out of me. Well, he went back to standing. That was nice. Nice transition. What an interesting fight. Very interesting. Like, because he's like so sideways, it seems like he's getting away so soon. But he doesn't have one hand up there. They're just like hanging. So obviously he's wasting a lot less energy, but he's obviously not protecting his stuff really. He never really puts his hand up at all. Not even if he punches. Have you guys seen something like that before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, I this one. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, Holland looks very Something has happened there. And my stream is not working. Oh no, what's going on, please? It's a very interesting fight style. And yeah, as I said, like, this way you really don't waste too much energy. It doesn't look tired at all. It's a little bit from his big organs. <laughs> and he doesn't even sit down, he's just standing. Okay, Todd, this is a good question. Let me see. If you had to sum up your fighting style using only a mode, which ones would you choose? Let me see. <laughs> oh, my mode is. Oh boy. <laughs> really looking for a <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, definitely the robot myself. And the robot leg. And the robot leg. We put the brain and the heart and the slight spine to our boom for the explosion. And maybe maybe the judo electric. Those first wrestling emojis. But I love the robot. Who 
Thank you, guys. That's a good one. I really do like to help people. To some of your fighting style. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, this is what I thought. It looks like he's so frustrated, Kevin Holland. This venom opponent. Because Holland looks honestly so tired and his opponent does not at all. Mm. Where's all this coming from? And he's still joking. This would frustrate me too, like, so much. You get hit and kicked out of nowhere. You come into some kind of dancing and make more moves. But this is, yeah, he's not provoking him. I need to get a little emotional strategy. Like on that stage? Interesting. He's just, it's saying it in the comments. Yes, didn't I just say that? It's I should comment it for you if you sure. That'd be so sweet. Unpredicted and effective, yeah. My dog just decided to go to his bed. So he left me in the living room by myself. I don't like him. I think they're just completely overrated. But I like how Kevin works with his shoulder. Because it's a good way to also free yourself from that position. And you wouldn't expect how much the fact that such a shoulder has. Ooh. Kevin knows there's some points here. Yeah. He cannot even touch it. Not even reach it so fast. And you know, <laughs> you know both of them. This is the real big interesting. Are you gonna fight me? Or just answer me all night. Yeah. This is what Homer just said. What is this? Why do they stop him? Oh, I think my mistress is frozen again. But yeah, what are you talking? I didn't like your dancing reference, but I respected your fighting. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, wow. What a nice little arm. Oh, yeah, he felt that. Very nice. Oh, beautiful. I love those slow-mos. And he got out of there of that. And yeah, boom. Those long arms, but yeah, if you have a person that anticipates more, better, whatever, I don't know the right word, and because he's not protecting himself, really, so I would say if you're facing someone that has a good timing, 
your hands on so low. My point. Here's proof. Congratulations, my friend. Nice. That was a nice point. I like it. Very different from anything you've ever seen before. Oh, you just did. That's interesting. I didn't know that. And then such a performance. So Dana's probably going to sit down and be like, you're my friend. I like what you did here. Thank you, Miami. Yeah. Oh, you nice. He has those signature moves, but I feel like a lot of people are going to do that. All the things. Mm -hmm. All right, now just a while. I can talk to you. Our coach did it. AJ is um, M A T T at the moment, but I think she said she was going to be here for one week or something. She's she's also in Miami tonight. She was always so skinny before she got. That's such a cool person. I love her. She's a great spirit, and she will so passionate about everything. Oh my gosh, she's so skinny. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he was so It's a nice wheel they put together.
Wow, what a nice. Oh my God, I remember this ride. That was so, so, so crazy. And how I heard swell up. I remember those five girls who actually didn't slow down at all. They were just going, 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 going. And this I had the pain she must have had. Yeah. Like brown. Good. Oh, that's so nice. Man, this wheel is taking forever. She was just uh, a hell of a thing right there. But even after that, she had, uh, had such a great career for herself. I think she just did everything right. Nice. So beautiful. That's such a nice, nice gift. Yes, she said the best thing for sure. Oh. Yeah. That's so nice. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Nice. And Bruce is coming. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I love it. Oh, Dana. Nice. Oh, so, so beautiful. Okay, and I have another question. You could have any of the other questions on that day. What would it be in front of you? would be there at Comic and Trace. I mean, it's maybe the last one. I'll see you more new with you. I mean, in the morning, it would be like, so loud. But you have seen that I mean, the temple is always. Yeah, 
no idea. <laughs> no idea. Might need two more days to think about that one. I'm not gonna talk to you. If you have um an advice, you can like share it with me. I hope you guys go home and grab some water real quick. Oh, I have to move. Be right back. Man, guys, it's so humid. Florida, my hair is wild. I hope you don't mind. O'Malley's name keeps skyrocketing day of the day, I feel. What do you think are the biggest dreams of these three months? I guess you need kind of a trick card, especially personality and obviously special skills. People want to see some action out there, but they also care about the personality, right? I think they must know like people, but who can also talk about some good. And um, O'Malley, he has been for eight months to him. He's probably the only one who has to He always has his funny hair colors, not too serious. And his funny sunglasses. And yeah, people just recognize him. So, what do you think, Todd? What do you um, People need to be talking about this year. Did I name all of them? Oh, what a nice song to walk into. Remembers me of um, ancient movies. Am I mistaken? Is it like a French anthem or something? No, I don't think so. I think that sounds different. I should know it's a European name. Right? This earlier is. Riding so far behind me is crazy. What do you think are the biggest drawbacks to fighting someone so far behind me in the race? I think it can also be good because you have nothing 
to lose, just go, go, go. You know, it's easy to be, um, be crowned once you're up high and you feel on your way. Um, the only thing you really want is with and with. So I guess um, you're not so much in your head. You just want to do the best, whatever it takes. I do hype him a lot, but it's so interesting. Let me see if that's his right hand. He's ranked number 12 for the W. And Dustin is ranked number 3. Yeah. I guess you have to do what it takes to become a champion if you want to be the world champion. If you want to be the best, you have to choose the best. Or am I mistaken? Nice song to work with. Nice. Third is your your favorite song. Man, it's also been in there for a while. I feel like. Coach Mike Brown. Pitbull. Ya Ali. He has a definite great corner standing behind him. I think though this is a I've been waiting for. See your camp out there. I guess, I'm I guess people expect you to just be, you know, show what he's capable of. But yeah, the underdog is always, always good for surprise too. So, let's go to war then. And stunt. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are we I remember when I first moved here, we had this big, big, big fridge of Celsius in the gym with Dustin. And I don't know, we had like drinks for at least, I think, two or three months. And this is how I was introduced to the drink. And I was just like, wow, this is so good. And my favorite is uh, Auntie Lava TV.
Oh my goodness. Really one of the biggest challenges. If you could endorse any product Octagon during your prospecting, what would it be? My own merch, of course. <laughs> Everything uh, performance, women hit harder. Everything like gloves. Maybe at some point, even other products. Not promising too much, but I'm working on it. I forgot to say that the other day there was this girl fighting. Apparently, she has her own pickle company, and I commute the school day on that, and I think she made the same sales on that product after that announcement. Oh, nice. Oh, and he's going through the t shirt. Oh, that looks right. Oh, no, I didn't. Wow. Yeah, she would like that. Obviously, France is a big, big Jude nation. I've been in France many times, so I've really been in competition too. Do you guys know that? France and then it was banned for so long. I think they only started allowing it to be, you know, public. Either 2019 or 2020. It's not that long ago. I was just like, not at all at all. I would fight in the underground, trying to get the underground for real. Obviously, it's such a big judo nation. And uh, the judo politics kind of didn't really allow it. Didn't like it because a lot of Jewish people actually trans transitioned. Yeah. Oh, oh, is he shaking off? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm sure you, you didn't underestimate him, but sometimes you know when you look at your head in the first few seconds of the fight. It's, it's kind of hard when you're probably going to so strong. Oh, I felt that one. Oh, man. Really hard hands here. Yeah, the pace is definitely pretty high at the moment. So I guess if they make it to the second round, they will both be pretty guessed out. Nice. Oh. Yeah, this is a tough cookie here, the, the French guy. Holy. Holy moly. But I mean, Justin is just so, so, so experienced. He just has to get it together and. I mean, and then he's probably going to just bring back to normal. That looks kind of tight, but no, not as tight. Not as tight as it would have needed to be. <laughs> 80 seconds left. It was a very tough first round for sure. 
Body lock here. Nothing what he hasn't experienced before. He's experienced, but you know, choked by Judo Twist. That's what's trying to fight those hands. Getting back to the seat. Fighting the hands. That's what it looks like. It looks pretty tight. Look at, look at the ribcage here. Oh. I'm sure we will see another version of that in the second round, but we'll just move. Oh. Uh, Nice. Oh, that was a lot of ground. It almost seems a little surprised as far as the problem was. I hear giving this guy too much perspective is what I just said. Only in different words. English. The more gear teams go to the Man, this is definitely a good fight. I really enjoy watching. Dustin does have a lot of respect for his opponent for sure, which is actually a good thing. But he's again in the guillotine. And he's gonna get it out again. I was just, just gonna say, my brother just told him about guillotines, and the first thing he does is jump. <laughs> Two people are supposed to be having a burst in the neck. Yeah. Oh, the hooks and flatten them all. Just gonna stretch them. Yeah, he has to sneak out the back. Oh no, this looks pretty damn tight. Neck crank. Oh, nice. Get out of there. I guess this is all that in the world of IOT. He has experienced those positions so many times in his training, in his career, so he was actually really some people who are not used to that they get like a little nervous or whatever. And yeah, he knows what to do. Yeah, it's time for me also to see no tired now. He's definitely giving it all in the first. In the first round, obviously, in the first couple of minutes here in round number two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Team again. <gasps> Knockout. That's it. That's it. You did it. Nice. 
this is experience people. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's very happy. What a great, great, great performance by his French opponent from Paris. I hear that. That was just really, really good. And Trump's in the house, too. And this is October. No. was very strong. <sighs> yeah. Nice uppercut. Uppercut again. Oh, nice body shot. Nice chip. Oh, I'm doing good. I already changed the game a little bit. Your team again. Ooh. And that was the moment you picked up. Yeah, timing was on point for sure. Nice one, nice, nice two. Diamond shines bright, yep, sharp. Well, that was very nice. It was, in fact, a lot of respect for Great, great, great. Oh, so such a nice support bench. I can just repeat myself, but I do love to see this sequence of pure support bench. Young hungry man. I like it. He's just naming it. I don't like how he speaks about it. It's very nice. Very nice. Thanks. 
सब जिंदगी होती My brother probably just said, I told you nobody would choose anymore to do it anyway. And then we need to pull off the people and ask them down. That's so cool. Still wearing sunglasses. I think Shido has what it takes to pull off the super again to be the upper again. I'm tired and I don't want my gloves. Oh my god, I honestly have brought this one. I have no clue. We have seen all Mary knocking out people like from the very first thing I started, and those punches are pretty serious. And you just hit some ones with that, I think nobody really can resist that. But yeah, I guess also Melly leaves tanks every here and then. So mm -hmm. cheers to that. I mean, this is always up for every fight when they fight for the titles. Like, and still, and <laughs> it's always kind of hard. I mean, sometimes it's pretty clear cool. you just know what's going on, but sometimes it's still. And they can only hope that the judges and the rest of their job um, properly there and counting. Yeah. Guys, I do have a question. What can you do headphones? Stay in your ear. Mine always, always fall out. It's just so annoying. When I go around, I have like, you know, bandana. So, thick. The sound is obviously absolutely amazing. And then sometimes I just do stuff at the gym and they will just fall out. I don't know. What do you do? The answer of what? Mm 
are some of the most popular items in New York Times. Um, for sure, my uh, college jackets, my shirts, hoodies, caps, and the gloves. Man, guys, late past bedtime. Should be sleeping right now. Like usually, I love to just go to bed early on the weekends when I can, so I can rest. I just really need a lot of sleep. If I don't get enough sleep, I just need myself. Can anyone really? Sniper, and he and so. I mean, this pink is also a different eye color, but like for a guy, it's so fun, and they really like this. Right, right, pinks and whatever. He likes everything bright. But you know what's also cool that, that he shows that people can wear pink and if they're mad or not, whatever, because I don't like those stereotypes to me. So I think it's nice to live in a modern century. People should just wear the colors they want to. Isn't that so funny? Like, and Women, open couples have babies, and that's a boy, it's always blue, it's a girl, it's like pink. I think either neutral colors, or yeah, get that guy, get that boy to play, you know? It's a stereotype, and I think you can never really help with them. It's in the present for the boys of war, the, the doll for the girl. Not so bad if it's other women. Get them both. They can decide. So yeah, he's definitely a role model of skill and color. You guys having any plans on it? Or just going to have to look like well in Germany it's six forty in the morning. Here it's obviously um twelve forty. I'm not gonna be just gonna go to bed. I'm so tired. And I can't wait to sleep until tomorrow. I wake up have coffee, train, I want to take my dog out. My mom is here for me, so show her around a little bit. Yeah, it's exciting stuff. Sundays are usually my favorite days in the week. Because if I don't have time to start with you, don't really do it during the week. Also, obviously, sleeping in, which is super nice.
with your guys' sister. Let's see on Sundays. I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. So what I did, I just, I just posted. Nobody lightning, Joanne. We had this topic two times and no but you know, those moments, seconds before you enter the cave. And what are you thinking? So we have are you telling are you thinking anything at all? Or are you just an autopilot? Are you just you know, telling yourself that you know, whatever? What do you think? Fighters think before they walk in. Have you ever considered creating a limited edition of your marriage? Of course. That'd be super sweet. I have a few ideas. I guess what I need is uh, the platform to start this stuff. Or maybe I have to integrate like a shop. Something in my Instagram so people can just buy it. Or maybe people will help me ship that stuff out. Oh, I love this pink. Look at this color. I love it. Wow, the people just love it. Wow.
I think it's just absolutely amazing that you have to create those colorful pens for a Okay, this is the only person who wears them instead of the championship gold. Yes, pink. Here's first book. world is for that one. Is he gonna eat him again? Or was it just one time one type thing? Guys, we're still watching the see 299 from Miami and Florida. And I'm doing a watch party here, in case you wonder what I'm doing here in life. And if you want to watch the part of the movie, you should start watching the see paper for paper. Let's go. Let the action begin. I just posted um, a story on my Instagram saying congratulations to Dustin as well. In case you wonder what I did there.
เอาแอนด์ดอสแพนส์อัพวิดเอาไปเดินไปในนั้นมันจะพิมพ์เป็นโรสของไลท์คัลเลอร์สในโอ้ไม่เมอร์ชอบิสไลท์ดัตพิมพ์และโรสส์และอันนี้ก็เป็นไลท์ซูเอ็นและนี่ก็เป็นไลท์โอ้แมนด์ดอสแพนส์อัพยูจัสเฮสส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์Very interesting question. Also, for a very strategic, I think, and kind of trying to create a certain form here. Or attempts, you know, dominance, also the mental stuff. And those fast hands, always good for surprise. Remember his first knockout in the first contender series. Just remember how he knew what he hit him. That was. I didn't even go after. This is great kind of confidence to have. It's also interesting how. Steps in and out and changes his stance. Also, kind of you know, tries to his hand open. And I feel like the, the ref is never really warned him about that. Probably the champ. And he oh, so fast. The guy might go away. Also, like nice holes, big, easy checks, and then don't really do anything. And he gets a little by little. Let's say, Mel seems to be the best of himself. Today and I mean he had most of the best version of himself already. Today he looks even more confident, more, more strong. Just super interesting to see. I wonder what he does to train his mind too. That's that's absolutely not easy.
I always wonder it's interesting to see maybe that a lot of people don't sit down anymore and in their breaks they just try to still stand up. I was I remember when I started fighting and I did the same. I really wanted to sit down. I wanted to stand and instead of being allowed to breathe to cover. And then the coach said, No, you have to sit down. But now I feel like still standing up again. Have you noticed? Oh man. I love those really heads. Also how he mixes it up from the head to the body. And things in between. But have you ever seen a guy really clumsy and really working in the cage or trying to throw someone? No, he's just so good in stand up. I'm so sorry, guys. And he really has a good defense. He always oh, one. He really knows how to defend himself, which is really nice. This is my feeling too. He has so much respect. Seems like Vera doesn't really want to get to get into that quite at this moment. I mean he's trying. I feel like O'Malley is really there behind it. Yeah. Does that look a little there? I don't know. Nice bloody shot. Really appreciate O'Malley. It's very smart who steps in and out and then changes um, stance and then oh, got him there. Oh, that was definitely a game changer. Those comments sounded like a lot of milk. Nice push to the room, I know. That was his problem. He got him hard. At this point, Vera is really just. Defending and not actively fighting back, it looks. Oh, oh, that was a nice combination. But he needs more of those. Mm -hmm. 
ですね。ないかな。This guy, those combinations are so quick. Oh, he went down with some of us. We're in here. Oh, yeah, that was perfect. What a nice time in position there. Round number three. I can put it. And there are more and left. Take a lot of more. Just to... Oh my goodness. Where does he find all that stuff? Such a smart way of fighting. Saving energy. Having the perfect reach all day long. And then so powerful at the same time. Oh, yeah, being tested today, that's for sure. Couldn't have said it better. Wow. Does one really have any at this point? Maybe a little bit on the milk. Yeah, this is what I was trying to explain earlier. He said he really messed it up. Purposeful. I think I mean, every fighter should have that in there. I think everybody has a purpose. But yeah, he is messed There's nothing in this first quarter. Oh, nice shot. And then Sean, what the way he's standing up. I'm just like so long with his jump. And Vera is uh, making it easy for him to fight. It seems like he has a chin, like a pirate or something. This is so funny. Interestingly, that Molly always finds a way to put his punches like in that way that Vera is only going backward instead of sideways. Always like right in front of each other. I feel like with the guy, Molly, they should know that they should go more sideways. Thank <laughs> you. 
it's interesting how come you're saying that everything is so purposeful all the time. I mean, if every fighter has purpose when they step in there, what is his purpose just outstanding in terms of of purposeful? Yeah, this is what I also was trying to express. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> How many of those you take before sponsored? Oh. Okay. So just warming up and getting ready to win. Nice. <laughs> Go in your corner. Listen to me, Interesting corner conversation. Listen to him. Oh my goodness, that's insane. Yeah. Wonder if Mara can put to play what is going to do. Yeah. Just like kids, like this. they're perfect, like right in the spot where they belong. It almost seems like Vera is like more in the game now. He's taking more chances. It's like I don't have to do something at this point. And he gets to finish. And he knows that. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's good. And he's like completely different now. He's like a more tired than he's his head, but those combinations and actions goes now. That's always a risk. Oh man. We got him now. Cool. Very interesting to write here. Right now. Whoa. This is nice. Yeah. I got him good a couple of times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Ну, если не знаете, то не знаю, да, с Франциском спешила. О, вау. Almost feels like I'm not even expected to have been here in the third round. I was probably thinking to just get them out. Yeah, empty the tank. Look at how he is landing. But yeah, that was definitely my turn of event. This pair is showing what he's capable of now with four pushes. So when he's had it, he's like, almost didn't have an answer for what O'Malley put up there. Man. Yeah, but those jabs, those double jabs, and their cross is always, always standing by O'Malley. But there's no time at any time you just go with the match and MMA gloves. It's been any second you just one finger on the ground. Um, that was pretty close. And well, it always has an answer. Five more. He still doesn't seem too tired. He has a resting bitch face. Just pop shot it. Okay. Interesting comments. Coach says Connor say he's leading the whole round. Put it together. It's all or nothing at this point. All or nothing. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. As if they would hear us. Or me. Yeah. I mean, so far, the answer is pretty clear. We won that one. But in the last four minutes. Oh, if that would have. Mm, Left eye, I hear left eye. Oh my goodness. Come on, guys. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, it's 
my prayer. <laughs> Everything is different in Daniel's head. This is kind of meaningless. On this. Yeah. This is going to be very soon when you get hit on the eye. The worst of it's like when you're hit to your eye, the surface of your eye, Ugh. you can't stop. Well, what do you say? You cannot stop crying, you cannot cry in the water running down. It's like the worst. And oh, it's around us here. Very well. I feel like there are some things changed after this point. 350 strikes and counting for O'Malley. Oh, this is uh, quite an amount. Oh, I don't know. Man, fifty seconds. Okay, I can have to go with that. having hopes. And he's certainly capable of O'Malley and just showed that what champ is made of. He tried everything. He's getting out of health for sure. Still wise. Sure, Sean will maybe his answer is pretty clear. But that was unfortunately too late, my friend. We've done it a little bit early on. My leg went down. Okay, here we have to. Oh, yes, that was good, good shot to the body. It got ugly. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, here's the English decision. Oh, I it was pretty strange. Well, that was a big ass run here. clear. No. Okay, dear people, it was an honor to be streaming with you. I'm going to say good night. I talk to you soon. And wish you all the best. And obviously, I hope you tune in next time that I'm having a word. And support me on my journey and keep watching the of the ocean for more support my Instagram and Tony. Thank you very much.